what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing them What's up guys, we're on a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we have a special guest Chinese Kitty Yeah. So, um, so we're gonna do a little icebreaker I'm gonna ask you some questions Just say the first thing that comes to mind Ah, oh, shit <laughs> <laughs> Okay, one word to describe you Daddy What's your sign? Capricorn Something you hate seeing on social media? Uh, <laughs> damn, first thing on the mind, social media. Uh, what do you hate seeing on the media? Cat. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, favorite word to use? Oh, shit. <laughs> Suck my dick. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One word you had trouble spelling as a kid. You remember? Beautiful. Really? Isn't that weird? I used to always mix up the E and the A and the U, but I don't know. Okay, you got it now, though. I got it now. <laughs> I got it now. <laughs> okay, three things you're going to take on the abandoned island. Empty island. On the empty island? Yeah, three things you need. Uh, let me see. Pair of sunglasses. Um, a selfie light. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and um, shit. I mean, these are the things I always pack on an abandoned island. What you mean? Like if it's just like me, nobody, like it's nobody. Just you. This it's not just a vacation. You. Like it's, no, it's I'm just stranded. You. Yes. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Mm. Yeah, it's just you. Three things you need to survive. Like three to things survive. You need. That's crazy. Three things you need. My like, cell phone. Okay. Um. Uh. Sh- I don't know. That's a hard ass question. Really is. All right, I'm gonna say my cell phone. <sighs> I'm like on an abandoned island. All I need is my cell phone. Okay, wait. My <laughs> cell phone. Damn. I don't know. That's a weird question. You might not be there forever. Like a couple days. A couple days. Maybe a bathing suit. I don't know. Somebody oh, saved. Somebody has saved me in a bathing suit. Okay. So cell phone, bathing suit, and what? The selfie cell phone, light? and then <laughs> that's the selfie light. Selfie light, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, what's your favorite cartoon character? Favorite cartoon character. Ooh. Oh my god, I haven't watched cartoons in so long. Oh my, did you have one favorite cartoon? I feel like I did, but I haven't watched cartoons in so long. Damn. Hmm. I would say Kim Possible. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, nastiest food you've eaten? Oh my god. Uh, I would say, um, what did I have? Oh, like uh, Korean food. Oh. Like them Korean barbecue places. Okay. I don't know. Even though I'm half Asian, I, that shit. Make me <laughs> you had to just up. try some stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, favorite one of your favorite power couples. Ooh. Mmm. Offset and Cardi B. Ooh, love that for them. Yes. Okay, best thing about New York? Uh, the people. Our culture. For sure, the people. And then, okay, you know, it's Women's Month this month. Mm-hmm. So one businesswoman you like. One businesswoman. Like outside of music or just in general? Just in general. It could be music. It could be Rihanna. fashion. It could be. Rihanna, okay. Rihanna, Rihanna. Rihanna it is. <laughs> All right, so moving along though. So um so get us into like how you got started into the music. Okay, cool. Um I would say at first I came in I always wanted to do music, but I think at the time I was most definitely more scared of the music industry than anything else. So at first I was just maneuvering through life. I used to work at Starless. I was a bartender and then I was just like, "You know what? Fuck this. I want to roll the dice. I want to go after what I really love." Um and I started music, and I actually, my manager at Starlets, I was like, yo, you think you can manage me on the music? At first, he didn't believe me. He like, what? I was like, no, I'm mm. dead serious. And then um, since then, I've been sticking to it. So, Okay, so how is it like trying to, I don't want, I don't want to say trying to get people to take it seriously, but like when in the beginning stages. In the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, at first, everybody definitely was like, oh, you're just doing this because, it's a wave or I don't was know. Was it a wave at the time though? No, because I, so. I feel like it was only like Cardi out 
and a few, like a very few. Yeah, I don't think it's, it was a wave. Yeah, I like say. I don't know, but that's what I feel like people was basically trying to say to me. But um, I think consistency and seeing that I've never gave up. Mm -hmm. I could have just been like, oh, all right, you know. Well, since y'all say so. You no. know, I could but go and do through, yeah. a lot of different things. But this is my passion at the end of the day. I think people are starting to actually realize that. So, yeah. But um, being in the nightlife, like you said, um, do you think it helped, like, build character? Like, being around different people? And different definitely. Definitely. I would say, like, you know, it makes you a people person. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you automatically have to learn to get to know people, talk to people. And I feel like it's the same thing in the music industry. You can't mm -hmm. really be timid, shy. Like, you can, but you can't. You got to, like, yeah. just throw that shit away. So, right. yeah. For sure. Do you feel like you miss the nightlife or are you, like, good off that? I would never miss the nightlife. <laughs> <laughs> I would never miss the nightlife. I ain't miss it when I was in it. So, okay. no, definitely no. So, okay, done with that. All right, so in New York, you know, we got, like, a caliber of what we call, like, it girls. It girls. I okay. feel like that's kind of what we uh, call them. Shit. So okay. like you know, I think you're definitely one of the it girls. Okay, okay. <laughs> but like, um, do you feel like um, it's more? Hell yeah! What? I, feel, like, I was just literally then, having this conversation, but go ahead. I was saying like back then though, I feel like it was like more of y'all. I feel like now it's a little bit less. You know it's very so? true. That's very true. Because everybody's kind of yeah. like getting into their entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. What you think? I do. I think it's mad it girls in New York. Girls still? I feel like as far as music right now, I think, yeah, we definitely got some eight girls for sure. Okay. Don't, you don't I think like, so? I mean, I know we have a couple, but I feel not like. Not mad of them, yeah, but. Yeah, it's not as popular as it was back then. So what girls did you have in mind? The regulars. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not supposed to ask you questions. <laughs> no, no, like, um, you know, like, Yummy Dolly, like, the regular, like, it girls. Okay, like, okay, You know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. but they ain't been doing that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, like, as far as new coming out. Oh, new? It ain't really much. You know yeah, what I'm no. saying? Like, Because it's an oversaturated game now. So, it's kind of hard to make somebody super popping when it's so many. Yeah. And I feel like everybody got, like, a niche to them. Yeah. So, it's like, you got to find your niche in the shit. Word. Okay, so, getting into making music. So, walk us through your first studio session. My first studio session, <laughs> yes. oh, my God, that was terrible. Like, I had this bum-ass producer at the time. I mean, I don't even remember who he was, but he was Sheesh. playing wacky beats. Like, I'm telling you, just terrible. And because I was so hyped to just be in music, I just was recording anything. So I remember my first track, I took it to my mom and my dad, and they was like, I think you got to go try that again because that definitely isn't it. And I was mm. so heartbroken, but I'm like, I'm going to still try, but yeah. So no. when did you come to the conclusion, like, it was the producer, it wasn't you? Because um, <laughs> everyone would say the same thing. Your, your delivery is crazy, but, but, the beat but that beat, hitting. but I don't know. That song ain't it. But okay. So that's when I realized, like, okay, wait, I'm going to still keep trying. Because mm -hmm. something I kept hearing that I'm like, nah, it definitely ain't me, you know? Mm -hmm. so, so do you feel like you know you now? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So what was you, I guess, three ways to describe you, your artistry now? I would say boss bitch music. Okay. I would say I'm so much more in, like, I can talk about what I'm going through in my music. Um, and I would say, third thing, I feel like I'm just me. I keep it real. Motivation? Mm -hmm. I do. I, I got motivational music, too. Well, yeah, yeah, I feel like you kind of tell the girlies what it is and what it ain't. <laughs> Absolutely. That's just how I am. That's yeah. the Capricorn in me, so it speaks through my music. For sure. Okay, so, um, transition to that. We talked about all of that. Okay, so the on the radar freestyle went good. Yeah. Everybody was fucking with it. Was I you nervous was doing nervous. Because people be like, no, it's raw. It's one take. Nah, you know I was nervous. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. I started sweating. I'm like, because it's different to... Was it the pressure or was the, like, one take? Thing? No, that was, to be honest, that was, like, my real first freestyle. freestyle? Like, you, yes. That, oh yes, I've freestyled before. Oh, I've done, like, mean. little, like, cute things, but those were songs I already put out. So mm -hmm. I know the record, like, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that was, like, you spitting in front of people. Like, you really got to come, come, come heavy. Come that shit. So, a lot of people watch them, so you definitely got to come with that. That's why I was nervous. But, yeah. It was exciting, though. So, um, being in the industry, what 
I mean, in the music industry, what experiences do you feel like you've learned? Um, I would definitely say to not be naive. Um, a lot of people got their own agenda, and I feel like I had to go through a lot of ups and downs. Ups and downs for me to realize that. Um, and more of just really trusting myself, trusting what I know, what I want to do, what I'm in love with, my, with my own music, myself, and not letting people stare at me. Oh, you should be sounding okay, like this so or sounding like that. Or, to the people. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so what was, I guess, one person you feel like you gave you good advice moving forward? Like some advice that kind of stuck with you moving along in the industry? I would say my manager is really f- cool friends with Future. And one time he said to me, if this ever feels like work, then this ain't for you. You have to, like, literally have fun in this shit. It's no matter what you do and whatever creativity that it is, you have to have fun and wake up and be like, I live, love this shit. And ever since then, I made sure that I don't make sure it's, like, not a stressful thing to me. Like, I'm just here, you know? So. That so, was definitely so what steps did you have to take to like make that transition? <sighs> is it like the pressure writing? Is it the pressure with beats? Is it I the would perception? say more like patience mm-hmm. and like just really like accepting certain things for what it is and not being so like mad or just holding things in. You know, mad so. about what people's like perception of things or just mad. No, of- it be like in team things. Like mm. it be out of things. But yeah, my, somebody shit, might say like, like stuff, you know yeah. all that shit. You just gotta really just roll with the punches. So yeah, you definitely gotta roll with the punches. So right now, I feel like people in hip hop are kind of trying to say like pretty privilege is a thing. Do you think that's real or you think that's a myth? <laughs> um. Okay. No. Let's serious. I'm gonna be serious. serious I feel yeah. like pretty privilege is a gift and a curse. Mm-hmm. Why okay. I would say that, that is, honest. yeah. Why I would say that is because you might walk in a room and I feel like men in the industry automatically just be like, because this is a male dominated industry. Yeah, they yeah. won't even hear the record and they be like, yeah, she's dope. And then it's like, mm-hmm. okay, they not giving you real mm-hmm. advice. They just right. saying whatever. Sometimes. Guys just be geeked or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. But then yeah. it's like you might think that you got something going on, and then you outside to the real world, and it's like, no, go back to the drawing board. You okay. know what I'm saying? So it's like I feel like it's a gift and a curse because some you really need like structure honesty, still, though. honesty. You need mm-hmm. like to work for it still. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And then I be feeling like. Sometimes a lot of people don't want to accept because they automatically think like, girl, you only hear. Sometimes I be feeling that way. Girl, you only hear because you are cute or this or whatever. And they'd be like, no, I really be having to go to the studio till four or five in the morning and wake and up. Really and really work. And you know what I'm saying? Just stuff, like everybody yeah. else. So I definitely think it's a gift and a curse. I think, yeah, I, that, that's fair. That's definitely honesty, too. So, mm. So when recording music now, what's your thought process? Because like you said, it's the male dominated. People are always judgmental. People always have opinions. So my what's process your process now, now? I just be I like to talk about what's current. <laughs> I like to talk about what's going on. Like even in my last song, like it's an actual situation that I went through. Like mm-hmm. my ex and my homegirl and they slept together and all types oh, shit. of shit. So it's wow. like you know I like to go with what's going on or like I'll make a song that if I'm in a fun vibe. I want to talk about bitches getting money and bitch. yeah, like fuck these niggas <laughs> and yeah, you know I'm not about to just play with a dude just because you fine or whatever. Like no, you mm-hmm. gotta still put in that work. So for sure. Yeah. So boy, mine just dropped. Mm-hmm. So is that about a real situation? That's a, that's the record I was just talking about. <laughs> yes, okay. it is a real situation. Actually, it's um, I don't know. I'll be feeling like. With me, because I'm still, like, cool with, like, girls that are in the industry mm-hmm. that are not in music, mm-hmm. they be having weird intentions sometimes. Like, it don't okay. be, like, genuine. Because sometimes mm-hmm. girls will come around a girl that's, like, lit or, like, into some shit. And Trying you would lit. think, like, oh, you know, cute girls, we gonna link up. But really, they got their own agenda. agenda. So I be fine. feeling like you could... That's just something that I learned, too. Like, you really can't be letting people in your space like that because you don't be knowing where they had at. But speaking of the record, um, it was a girl that I was hanging out with, and she basically, yeah, 
Fuck my nigga at the time. How did you secretly. find out though, bro? Oh, God, I don't want to talk about this situation no more. Like, do you, you know go what? through phones or no, like, did you hear through passing? Like, I didn't know the whole entire time. I was okay. dumb. Like, I really did not know until Shorty added me to her close friends. Hmm. And I was never in her close friends, right. like, which I thought always was weird. But okay. she added me to her close friends and she That's had posted. Friends. She had posted some shit and basically was like, um, what the hell did she say? Oh, my baby daddy's best friend. I can't wait to celebrate their birthday together. Some some weird shit. And I'm like, the only best friend to this person was you. is my man at the time. Oh. So I'm like, who are you talking about? So I literally sent it to her. I'm like, what? I'm confused. What are you talking about? And then she was basically like, I meant to tell you. Me and him slept together one night and... I'm basically keeping his baby. Oh, so, she pregnant? Yes, it was a whole situation. Sheesh. Yes. And she is actually a famous Instagram model. So that situation went viral, but I mean, it's neither here nor there. So, so the nigga. The so. best thing out of it is I made a record, <laughs> moved on, okay. and yeah. So did you confront the nigga or did, was it like, Absolutely. it was just cut it all off? Like, Absolutely. No, 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 no. Are I'm you the type of person that off. like once I need closure to know. Like, or like, no, I have to. You got to get your shit off? I need, I can't. Like, okay. we got to fight. Okay. <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> nah. And he was like, damn, I feel like I'm putting the tea out there. Basically, he wasn't claiming it. So. Mm. Let's see if he is now. Let me stop. <laughs> so, more, but in the song, you said, don't be coming to me as a woman. Don't be coming as a woman to, to a, a bitch, bitch like, like me. me. Yes. yes. Yes, yes, yes. In that very moment, that's what I meant. Yeah. Like, she was saying, I'm, I, I meant to tell you, like, uh-huh, bitch. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, it's just yeah, too much. I feel like once you're pregnant, too much has happened. You feel me? So, it's like, you meant to tell me. Or you like got you pregnant really, or you had to tell me now because it's too late. Exactly. Yeah, so. Exactly. 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 And I'll be feeling like when girls come to a woman, it's because that dude is not giving them the security that they need to. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I feel like you want to, if a girl is happy in a situation, even if she's the side chick, whatever, whatever, it's like, yeah. okay, she yeah. She's going to stick with that. girl. You that think <laughs> that's your man? Well, I'm happy over here. But when things start going left, that's when mm-hmm. they like, mm, I'm a spite. Shorty, I'm yeah. gonna break their situation up. Or you I'm, get what I'm saying? Yeah, so. being jealous and shit. So like going about dating now. In the industry is so annoying. Like I think last year I just was like, I'm done with the the, the industry guys. Industry like, guys. They they just too So industry much. guys and music guys. Maybe yeah. athletes or something. Or yeah. you'll see what happens. You know, yeah. I know niggas be sliding in your DM, girl. Yeah, talking about absolutely nothing. But, <laughs> um, it just be like I don't know. I be feeling like guys think because you cute or you take certain pictures, you just automatically supposed to be on um day type of time. And I don't understand, but I I just be feeling it's disrespectful. So most of the time, even though I know I'm supposed to be like collaborating and shit, yeah, I just be like making music based, and that's it. Yeah, like yeah. I'm not gonna respond. You know, I got a manager too. Yeah, you could DM. Hit yeah, them. exactly. You can holler at them. So, back to the music, though. What do you feel like is your most slept on song? Oh. Yeah, like, what song you Ooh. feel like you put mad time in, it didn't get the recognition it I needs. got one. I was literally just thinking about it the other day. I'm like, yo, do I got to re-bring this to the surface? Um, it's, <laughs> on, it's a song off my last project called Ben Poppin'. I basically was just talking about, like, me being a mom, being an artist, you know, not enough sleep, always working. Um, sometimes that's a lot on him too. So mm-hmm. I'm feeling like sometimes those hard like songs that you put your your all into, you kind of want people to understand you sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I definitely feel like I want to make more music like that too. Okay. So talking about like like just life experience or like parenting and parenting and life experience. Industry. Yeah, all of that. All of that good stuff. So it's been a minute since you gave us a project though. Yeah, mm-hmm, I did. So it's one loading. You're trying to see how you feel about No, projects? honestly, like, right now I'm in a space where I just want to drop music. Like, okay. I don't even want to do a project. I just want to just, I'm not even want to, I am really am. Like, uh-huh. so Boy and Mind just came out, and the next two weeks yeah. I'm about to drop a record. The next two weeks right after that. So it's yeah. basically a project just without a project. I feel like you've been previewing that one. 
that single. Exactly. Yeah. So why did you make us wait so long? <laughs> oh, child. Low bullshit, team politics, politics, a lot of politics. Oh, letting the situation die yeah, down. You too? know, it's it's a it's a it's boy Maya's brandy record. So yeah, the I didn't want to. Oh my god, yeah. yeah, I didn't want to just jump the gun, you know. But mm-hmm. fuck it. So again, it's everything out. Now. out. It's out now. So. Okay, are we getting a video soon? <gasps> We are, we are, we are, we are. Did about you shoot to drop it already? It. Yeah, it's done. Okay, okay, okay. It's, okay. Done. it's done, it's done, it's done. Okay. I'm excited because I basically uh-huh. directed the video because it's my real okay, life. So I basically yes. just reacted, reenacted the whole situation mm-hmm. in the video. So I'm excited. Okay, I definitely want to see how that plays out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you feel about collabing right now? Oh, yeah, that's all I'm doing. Collabing? Yeah. Passing like with Jen Carter and all. Yes. Like, all <laughs> I'm doing is just trying to get as much of New York and mm-hmm. outside of New York as I can right now. Right now, I really just want to be on some, like, New York to New York artist shit. That's awesome. So, it could just, like, you know, that feeling just feels good. Like, no, yeah. this is my city. This is our you know city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But after that, I definitely want to be collabing with no people, too. How do you feel about this whole king or queen of New York and all that drama that they be saying? Um, I hate to get into that shit. Um, cause I be really feeling like you know we all support each other. We all help we each all other. yeah we're supposed to be supporting each other and um I feel like everybody is their own and king and queen queen and king in their own in their own way way you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying like one person got one type of fan base you got your own type of fan base it's like you know mm-hmm. but I e the queen still would be me. Okay, <laughs> for sure. Um, how you feeling about her? But well, she's get, she's been getting into her Trini roots, but she's really like on that right now. Yeah, you, yeah. Are you gonna get into a Guyanese roots? Yes, more? I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Absolutely, I am. Um, a hundred percent. Just like love putting out that I'm Guyanese, but I feel like now I want to be back since COVID is over and all that stuff. I want to be back for the festivals mm-hmm. and like I want to go back to Guyana and just like. Do a bunch of shit there. Okay, you know gift bags, saying? music stuff, like everything. Everything, okay, all that. Yeah, stuff. shows, all that. Yeah, that's fire. But a big collab you was a part of was Thought Box. Do you feel like mm. that like helped you gain traction in this sense? Absolutely. Absolutely. I For feel sure. like before Thought Box, I was like putting music out and people was just like like okay. New York, like yeah. niggas would see me on the scene, but it wasn't like solidified. Like I feel like when people heard me on Thought Box, it was like, oh shit. She's not playing. Like, she actually yeah. went crazy on it. So, yeah. definitely. I would that definitely was definitely that. a great verse. Thank so, you. like, what do you think was better, the male version or the female version of Thought Box? There was a male version? I said the same thing, but I did my research. It was. <laughs> well, if I, if I didn't know about it and I was actually on the record, I don't know. <laughs> I would say the female version. The girls did that. The girls been holding it down. I'm not going to lie. Absolutely. Yeah, so what are, so what are your thoughts on like what are your relationships like with the other rap girls in the industry? Uh I would say definitely good. Um mm-hmm. I feel like I need to be out there more. Last year I kind of was just like in a little show. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I don't there's no beef or anything I have with nobody. Like literally yeah. nobody. Well, you're pretty neutral. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely neutral. I would say I definitely want to collaborate more mm-hmm. with female artists. Um I said music shit, are you like over like being industry friends or you just want to do like music? Yeah, I be feeling like that industry <laughs> friendship. I don't know. They be, they be wanting you to stick it out with them. Yeah, like whatever and I'm just comes. too much in my shell. Like, I'm a little shy. People be having their own crazy world. Like, yeah. I just like to just get in the studio and, and work, work and do business. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Rolling Loud had passed in New York. Mm-hmm. How was that? That was great. That was my first time on the main stage. Okay. Um, I would say... They put me way earlier because it was my first time on the main stage. So I mm-hmm. felt like it, the interaction wasn't as close okay. for me. But yeah. I feel like it was just a great experience overall. Okay. So hopefully this year, with all me dropping all my new songs, it's going to be a different energy. Closer. But did you meet people at Roma? Like, I'm Absolutely. sure that's a good connection networking. Yeah, every time, every time. You just, like, you. that's where I really get to meet artists. And, okay, like, yeah. you know, we... Have genuine conversations outside of Instagram and stuff like that. So, okay, do you feel like you know your crowd fave? Like, what's the crowd favorite song? Yes, I would <laughs> say "Lip Bitch." Mm-hmm. Um, it seems as if "Boy and Mine" might be one. Okay, 
one, you know, soon too. Um, uh, Thought Box Verse, Everybody Loves That One. A long time ago, I dropped a song, Stories of a Ghetto Kitty. Okay. Um, and I feel like a lot of people be coming up to me about that record too. So. Okay, part two, coming soon. You know what? I already <laughs> I made one, oh, but I was like, this one, this one is too ratchet. No, we need to just say. Oh my this. god, you gonna turn this down a little bit? Yo, ratchet music been moving though. It do. It ratchet do. music be it moving really in its own like way. It's crazy how like the whole drill wave is like the thing now, and I feel like when I was putting out like music like ops and stuff like that was like two three years ago. I feel like it wasn't the time for that. Like you had like more like pop girl music, and I feel like that really wasn't. The yeah, I feel like it's about to transition from drill to like the quote unquote ratchet girl music. Mm. Obviously, like Gorilla, like twerking at the red light. Like yeah, everybody's exactly, on that, like exactly. turn up shit right now. Right. So um, maybe you should do a remix or something. Since if drill is in right now, I bitch remix or something. One of those. Some One of the two. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. I, I'm definitely doing that. Okay, so like, can you tell us the difference between like Chinese Kitty and Taylor? It's a big difference. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Cause I think people really be thinking that, like, I'm one of them girls that just, like, love it, love the spotlight. Like, really, I be so, like, scared of people. And, like, I be, like, I, I I'll accept the cameras. I'll accept it because I'm in the moment. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But the real me be, like. No cameras, please. <laughs> I'm gonna go home. Like okay. I like being in my shell. I like being uh-huh. in my bed. Taylor, I would say Taylor King really likes just watching Netflix and okay, homebody laying down and Taylor's a homebody. Yeah. And then Chinese Kitty is and Chinese Kitty. She pop outside. It's Sasha Fierce. Okay, <laughs> okay. So um, I know on the radio you told us about your crazy fan experience. Have you had a different one recently, or pretty? Mm-hmm. That was the most worst one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think because every day it'd be something wild. Um, Damn, every day? It just be like weird things that people do. Like, I can't even go to my Target without the same guy. Like, yo, I just saw your da 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 and this and it there. And I'm Sheesh. like, all right, thank you, but I'm looking crazy right and now. And I'm trying but, to shop. Um, what the hell? Nah, I <laughs> wouldn't say anything crazy. That was the craziest experience so far. So, no. okay. Do you feel like fans should have a certain etiquette when approaching the artist? Absolutely, absolutely. Because I had a time um, when I was in the airport and I ended up landing later than my manager. Mm. We usually always fly together. So I'm never like dolo, but I was dolo in that moment because I missed my flight. So when I landed, I was just waiting for them to come pick me up and I was just sitting there eating food. But I'm trying to hide because I don't really want nobody. You famous, girl. (laughs) So I'm in the corner, like, (laughs) stuffing my face and this man comes and walks up to me, like, dead in front of me and he's like, can I get a picture? And I, like, whole mouth, face full of food and I'm like, you couldn't wait for you to see me eating eating. this food and you see me hiding, too. So it's like, you could have gave it two minutes. Right. At least two minutes. So does that annoy you that you have like minimal privacy? Yeah, that becomes it becomes annoying. It does, to be honest. So does that make you like like not want to post, or you just kind of like just be like, how do you get into poker your show? Face. Like, you, know you gotta like, be poker face because you really don't want to lose no no fans, and you really don't want people to be like, ew, like look how she acts, she's stuck up. But really and truly, sometimes you just you don't know what I'm going through. Like I'm not right. just been arguing with my dude or. Yeah. You know, like, I got to go grab my son after school and I'm mm-hmm. on a time frame or something. So it's yeah. like, I don't think people take that into consideration either sometimes. Yeah. Do you think it should be, like, rules or laws against that? Because me and my friends talked about that the other day. <laughs> it was like, people should sue if, like, they run up on you with your kid or something like that. Like, I think that's a real offense. Like, I can't. Like, that shit is so annoying. I don't go through it now because my son is older. Mm-hmm. But when he was, like... Four, four and like having temper tantrums and then there's people like hey yo kitty and i'm like oh my god get off the floor like it's like yeah. it's embarrassing okay. so so what are your thoughts on like the whole cancel culture thing right now because i feel like people are trying to get canceled for any little anything thing. i yeah. blame social media to be honest like i feel like it's some people just have too much opinion like okay mm-hmm. it's cool to have some opinion like before when we didn't have instagram and stuff like if mm-hmm. you've seen a celebrity coming out all coked out or something, people would just laugh amongst their friends. Yeah. But you couldn't do nothing about getting that person up out of here. You know right. what I'm saying? Now it's like you, 
if a million people could comment, yo, they what? I don't fuck with them. Da da da. Then people start. Yeah. You dead it. Yeah. So do you feel like it's really effective, or do you feel like you could like maneuver through all of the? I don't know. It, you, it's, I don't know it's crazy because you got to watch what you say, watch how you move. You really can't have a voice. The only person that really can have a voice and still win is Kanye. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. That's it. That's an honest answer. But yeah, he even, yeah, I feel like he didn't dominate the fashion. He did the music shit. And he's always been crazy since the yeah. beginning, too. So it's like when he do something, it's like, we know that's Kanye. Kind of exactly. that sort of thing. So um, getting into like... Would you ever get back into like reality TV? Uh uh-uh. uh. No, I would <laughs> Absolutely not. not. No, I would not. That shit is just too much. That's, it's too hectic. Mm-hmm. It's, it's and I be feeling like if you don't go on there with a relationship, they be either trying to hook you up with random ass people. But yeah, okay, done with reality TV. But would you do like a uh, a series, like just of the day in the life, maybe on YouTube? I or would something? definitely do that. Like if it was just about me and my family, yeah, just I would. You, no, yes. family music. Yes. Stuff yes, like yes, 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 yes. But as far as like a show that where it's mad people. Yeah. But not nah, just like you and like getting into music and stuff like that. Yeah, I would. You do something like that? Hell yeah. That would be, that would be fire, I feel like. I feel like it's a great opportunity to like let people kind of see your everyday life. For sure. I def I think that's definitely a cool thing. So, um, so <laughs> in the media lately. What? It's the hair flip. I should know something. Something. No, coming it's, it's not really about you. I just know you did the um video booba and dusty. Uh huh. Yeah, like the like blind date sort of thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've seen what happened with Mayno and Booba recently. Oh yeah, I did. I did. I did. So no one Booba and no one Mayno. What are your thoughts on that? I feel okay. This is how I look. when I looked at it, I felt like I don't think Mayno knows that like he's like a Play viral like, like YouTube kid that plays like that. Mm-hmm. So he probably really thought that he was testing him. Mm-hmm. But I also felt like Booba probably praying fine. He wasn't expecting that one either. Yeah. But that shit was hilarious. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. That shit was funny. But I feel like he's used to that. He's used to people choking I him think, up. I think, uh, yeah, I think he's pretty used to that. But do you feel like, um, do you feel like in doing pranks and stuff like that, do you want to do that more? Or are you good off pranks? Or they got to know their limits? Or like, what do you think about pranks overall? Um, that seems like that seems like the thing, especially for the younger kids right exactly. now. Exactly. That's yeah. what entertains them. Yeah. I don't know. It'd be too much sometimes. That'd be a little too awkward. For I feel like the older you are, the less you want to do. Yeah, it'd be a little too awkward. It'd be fun for the moment, but then when you actually in it, it's like, what did you just say? Like, nigga, I really will snuff you. Yeah, like, like don't do too much. Yeah. But, um, yes, that's kind of like the thing kids are engaging with now. But, like, so do you feel like you have a younger audience or, like, an older audience? Or, like, in the middle? I think you have, like, a teen kind of. Yeah, I feel like, young, I feel like, you know yeah, I feel like I got a good audience. Like, yeah. I feel like a a girl that's, like, a boss bitch can mm-hmm. fuck with my music. And I also feel like I got a 16 or 18 year old that mm-hmm. could definitely feel the same. Yeah. So how, so when, when making music, are you trying to appeal to your audience or are you just kind of like getting off what's on your mind at the moment? I definitely want to do both. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like each record, like I might just have one that's just for me that mm-hmm. I wanted to put out. And then I might have one that I'm intentionally I'm making for girls. For girls. Yeah. Okay, so it's Women's Month this month, so you plan on making anything for the girls? Well, this one is All definitely... All my music is for the girls, so well, yes. Well, this one is definitely getting your shit off and getting that story out. Exactly. We want to see that video. Yes. But, like, maybe, like, I don't know, some motivation or something. Some motivation music. Maybe. Hmm. Working on it? Maybe. I, I'm going to put that into consideration. Maybe, like, a little freestyle. Gotcha. It don't have to be nothing serious. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, that. But, like, I think... I got you. It's Women's Month. We all girls. We should capitalize on that this month. That's a fact. And Women's nobody's month. really doing it either. So. Yeah. So, so definitely. that's just my opinion. And then, like, but can we get a project this year? Like, what's up with the projects? But you say singles. I know you're saying singles, but, like. No, I would definitely say towards the end of the year. <laughs> the end like, of the year, when no? I, like, drop all the singles that I want to drop, okay. I want to, like, I want people to ask me for it. Like, you okay. know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you want to be, like, anticipated. Yeah. Okay. Like, I want it when it's out. It do every bit of number, stream, okay. viralness that it deserves. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah. So, are we definitely going to see some consistency this year? 
Yes, you are. <laughs> it's so funny you say that because I've been complaining. That's what I was complaining to management about. Like, yo, I got to drop. I got to drop. I got to drop. Yeah. But, like, now but now that we going, right now. Yeah. I am not playing. I promise you I'm not playing. Okay. So. so singles all year long. Singles, non-stopping. videos, collabs, everything. I'm not joking. Like, I okay. promise you. Was there a reason the starts and stops would happen? Because I know yeah. you have the a lot of politics. Empire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of switching around, a lot of politics, um, and a lot of just me finding myself, too. Like, last year was a lot going on that I had going on. So I just mm-hmm. kind of, like, took a little break. And then I would say, like, towards the end of the year, beginning of this year, I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I'm pressing play on, on my shit. So. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like the pressure's on because there's so many girls out, or do you feel no. like... Confident in like every, I'm very confident. All the singles that's coming this I'm year. I'm very confident. Okay. I am. Okay. I'm very confident. All right. So tell the people where to find you, where to find the music. Okay. It's Chinese Kitty. You could definitely find me on Instagram. And I am streaming on all platforms. Boy Mine is out now. So Kitty Yang. Meow. <laughs>